If the woman you see on my screen is God, then I would say categorically that God is mad. God is crazy. God is so stupid. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Like, I don't mean like the big girl like we know. Hey, 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 chill, relax, man. I have something to tell you. Okay, please, take it easy. Some of you are so emotional, okay? Today is a story of a black woman who called herself God somewhere in Africa. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you a question as you continue watching this video because I'm going to be telling you the story of her rise and fall. But I want you to learn something from this because if you are not able to learn from this particular story, you yourself might be seeing yourself as God. Most of you have complained that George has been talking about Pentecostal churches and what goes on there, but never really talks about the Catholic Church. Now you got yourself a video about the Catholic Church. This is a story of a woman who called herself God, and people even worshipped her. I thought the debate was about if God was black or white. Maybe people have settled for the fact that God is even female. In 2011, Pope Benedict XVI visited Benin Republic after having asked for the resignation of two Beninese bishops, Marcel Agbaton and Fideli Abachi, who had been involved in corrupt activities in 2010. This shook the Catholic Church in Benin, which had led to them seeking for more of like a sovereign pontiff. As at that time, the Benama mission existed but had been seen as a threat by the Catholic Church. In 2018, May to be precise, Dame Parafait, or would I say Perfect Lady as she was being called, the founder of the Church of Benami, claimed the visit of the Benin President or the President of Benin Republic to the Vatican was initiated by her. This was when Pope Francis became the Pope after Pope Benedict XVI. The President was not happy about this news, although during his meeting with Pope Francis, they had discussed about the private Catholic Church of Baname. Pope Francis pleaded the President manages the affairs with lucidity so not to let the Beninese go astray. The Brotherhood is not well viewed by the clergy of the Roman Catholic Church. Meanwhile, many priests and nuns resigned and joined the mission of Baname. Besides all this, the escapades of the Church of Baname number in hundreds. In, in 2021, a priest of the Brotherhood sent an open letter to the President of the Republic and made a series of revelations about the Church before asking for help because he says he fears for his life after unpacking. The young lady called Dagbo in the local language of the Beninese, a self-proclaimed God, Holy Spirit, and towards whom all the authorities submitted to, seemed powerful amidst all denunciations. The story of the perfect lady started in January 13, 2009, in Baname, a small village near the town of Abome, Benin. That day, a young woman of 19 would be taken by her aunt to the parish priest and exorcist, called Father Matthias Vegan. For several weeks, Vicentia, her name, has worried her family. During prayer sessions, she takes herself for the Virgin Mary, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and wants to be called perfect. The exorcism of Vicentia would not have gone as planned and the young woman would have gained upper hand over Father Matad's vegan who now is in her grip. In the weeks that followed during the same year 2009, Father Vigan in turn spreads the declaration of the young woman and becomes her spiritual guide. After several months of numerous calls to order from his hierarchy fathers, Father Matthias Vegan is excommunicated from the Catholic Church. He and the young lady, now called Perfect Lady, and several other priests who have resigned, followed Father Matthias and created the Catholic Church of Baname in 2011. The Catholic Church immediately protested against the fact that Father Matthias Vegan and his protege used the attributes of the Roman Catholic Church. 
something of which would stand out a few months later. Since then, the dissidents of Baname have been forced to renounce the distinctive signs of the Roman Catholic Church, in particular by changing the official name of the association. The Catholic Church in Vatican City, Baname, has therefore become the Catholic Church of Jesus Christ. And its seat, formerly the Vatican of Benin, renamed the City of Heavenly Court. But war is thus declared between the two religious denominations. A war with tentacles scattered all the way to Rome via the country's political authorities. At that time, Parafate displayed strength and strong power which she was unshaken in front of no one. She divulges the secret of the Roman Catholic Church and constantly makes disturbing revelations about the Beninese clergy and anyone who tries to talk about her. In 2012, under the supervision of Father Matthias, he set up a religious organization with a hierarchy and framework identical to that of the Roman Catholic Church. She proclaims herself God, a Holy Spirit who came to the earth to dwell among humans. Some say she fell from the sky, but of course, she was born of a woman. If not, why did she have an aunt? Father Matthias became Pope Christova, ordained by her, and the priests of the regular churches also joined the ranks in number of tens. Several thousands of faithful in search of healings, deliverance, and miracles joined her. Two months later, after unsuccessful attempts to a dialogue initiated by the Catholic Church of Benin, God the Holy Spirit as she is called and his Holy Father were excommunicated at the beginning of 2013. This had not prevented them since to convert thousands of believers from other faiths to join them in worship. The Episcopal Conference for its part had invited Christians since 2013 to consider this church as a false prayer group and forbid any Catholic to attend it and the punishment for attending their church if you were a Catholic is you being sanctioned. Vicentia regularly abused the Catholic Church as well as vandalism and attacks on pastors who talked against her. She had become so powerful that in April 2016, she called her followers to vote for the current Beninese president, Patrice Talon, whom she affectionately called her legitimate son. His search, which has several hundreds of faithful, was able to contribute to the rise of power of the current president. And as one might expect, just few months after the election of the president, she received a long-awaited authorization from the Beninese Interior Ministry, which officially consecrates her religious missions. In January 2018, after the president's participation in the Epiphany Mass, the god of Baname was off the hook. In a widely publicized social media outlet, she claimed to have been President Patrice Talon's sole support during the election campaign. Where had the Catholic clergy gone now, she said. She had the current president elected according to her. Observers believe that this explains why there was silence around her practices in the country. Even when he visited the Vatican in 2018, it was reported that the Vatican gave him, the president, confidential documents on Baname to demonstrate how dangerous her sect is. Fast forward to 2021, it is a priest who had resigned from the said brotherhood who sent an open letter to the president to expose a series of facts that deserve public attention. The faithful of Baname mission were being robbed of so much money in purchase of sacramentals and a couple of other things that were very demeaning. Many costs were invented like the cost of faithfulness, cost of seeing her and many others. There were certain inhumane treatment of certain priests of the brotherhood who dared to leave the faith. This is to show how she was controlling on the priests that even worked with her. A member of the brotherhood named Jane Claude who released the letter ended by saying that in the event that the document doesn't reach the president before his death, he would still be creating awareness because of the danger that awaits those who join them. The Catholic Church is one of the most popular churches in the world. Some people say the Catholic Church is the first 
quote and unquote Christian sect that ever existed. In Benin Republic, a country in a part of West Africa, the Catholic Church has been going through a whole lot with regards to privatizing the Catholic Church or living in accordance to what the Vatican says. The Pope, of course. But how come she became so powerful that even the president of the country rose to power because of her? Now, fast forward to 2021. This is Vincentia herself acting mad on the streets. So I want to ask a question. Where is her Pope? Where are her priests? Where are all the people that rallied around her in the name of she being God? I don't know if you guys saw that even the crucifix itself had her picture calling herself God. And people, human beings, I believe, with brains working, which probably they left at home, worshipped her, revered her. You see how people, grown-up people, were sitting on the floor and when she's walking, it's more of like the triumphal entry. People would be more of like praising her and all of that. Why? Because she is God. She called herself perfect. Yes, I know the Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. But you call yourself God and people worship you. You claim you fell from the sky. But of course, you're born of a woman. She's not the only one that has claimed to be God. There is someone in Nigeria, I'm working on a video about him, that say that he himself is Jesus. There's one other person in the US, in Australia, that say that, the, that he is Jesus. There are people in different parts of the world that have deified themselves. And people, fellow human beings like them, worship them. This is not different from what happens in the Pentecostal circle of pa or pastors I've seen on social media or have talked about before whom their members act as if they worship them some of you have seen here on the channel where i made a video of someone who said that if you are listening to being real george and ever in any way disagree with your papa because in africa we call them papas and mamas i don't even know if she herself ordained someone poop i don't know what she's being called because this is now the pope walking side by side with god but just make does this even make sense to you a lady is being brought to you a priest now i never knew there were catholic priests that were exorcist so this woman was brought to you for you to cast out the demon in her but instead she became god so my question right now is what is really happening in the name of church what is really happening in the name of christianity you see the politics that is going on there to the point that even pope francis knows about this the Vatican knew about this. And it's all about this agreement between, okay, a, a bishop does this and then the person is being sacked and then a priest has a disagreement and all. But remember, 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 this is just a highlight of what happens in many, many churches. There are many pastors themselves, fathers in the Lord, papas, that are worshipped by their members and the members do not even know. Vincentia is running mad today. Some people will say, oh, it's God's punishment for her, this and that. But let me tell you, God himself is very patient. At this point, even when it comes to the subject of is there God, is there no God, let me tell you categorically, I am a Christian because I was born into this faith and I grew up in the faith, I went to the seminary myself, almost became a priest, but I was like, no, I don't want to become a priest. But everything of what I've known is based on how, of how informed I've been. So your information defines your transformation. What if I was born into a Muslim family by now, I would be a Muslim. What if I was born into a Buddhist family by now, I would be a Buddhist. I've been part and witness to different religions. Even right here in China, I've, I've been to different temples just trying to know what is this whole idea of religion? What is in this people's story that is different from this people's story? What is this whole concept of religion? What, what does it do to people? And I came to a conclusion that indeed there is God. Indeed there is God. The path of which I'm following, many people are not following this path. But if it's for me to call a human being like me God, if it's for me to worship a human being like me, believing that 
I have a good life or believing that things will work out for me in my life because of a human being, because of a power that a human being has, then I've really, really kicked out Jesus or kicked out God from my life. There are many churches today that are operating that have kicked out Jesus and have placed themselves, the papas, in charge as a direct access to God. That is a fact. You may not know it yourself as a believer, but I'm telling you, if you come on my comments and insult me because I made a comment about the person you call your father in the Lord, who is a human being just like you and I, leave all the consequences of whatever it is you have in your medulla that would happen to me because I spoke about him. But if you come and curse me out and say all sort of things that I'm going to die soon and all of that, it shows me to a great extent what kind of worship and reverence you have for that man you call your papa or your mama. This is an example of that. God is real, I believe that. The supernatural is real, I believe that. But may I never get to the point where I deify myself and say I am God. All of this might have just been for money. Because, of course, they can do anything in Africa and get people's brain brainwashed. Because the people I see right here, worshipping, reverencing, calling you perfect. Where are they right now? God has become crazy and there is no one there to even help God. Has God become helpless? Has God become mad? In case you like the video you just watched right now, tell me what you think in the comments and be, able, be sure to drop a like on this video.